Great, so I'm here with uh, Greg Kiederman from uh, Lilly, and uh, we're at SMI's Social Media in Pharma conference in London. Greg, you presented on uh, Lilly's LilyPad and uh, the associated social media channels around that. I know that LilyPad was something that was launched almost two years ago now. Um, why did you set it up originally, and what's its real purpose now? Well, we had a really big... Um, issue on our hands, which was we needed to find a better way to reach uh, lawmakers and, and uh, other policymakers in Washington, D.C. and the U.S. because it's an audience that's important to us and it's an audience that really follows social media. So we felt like it was the right thing to do to target that audience so that we could begin to talk more and have two-way conversations about legislation and the pol and policy areas that really impact our industry. Great. And, and I know that when you set this up, um, it was quite a new thing for Lily to really venture out into sort of engaging via social media. What did it really take to convince the business or convince the senior leadership that this was a good idea? Well, fortunately for us, we have senior leaders who already believe in communications and very quickly understood the value of social media. They, they empowered us to do the right thing. They certainly uh, strongly encouraged us to do it in a way that's not going to take any unnecessary risks, but they also understood that by getting engaged in social media where the regulators already were engaged and our competitors were already engaged and our and our customers were engaged, that it was the right thing to do to deliver some messages, have two-way conversations, and hopefully uh, make an impact in that way. Brilliant. So what does it take now, day to day, to actually run uh, LilyPad and the associated social media platforms? We do a lot of writing. We try to write every day on LilyPad, and I, I think on most days you'll find at least uh, one blog on a variety of items uh, on LilyPad, and we also uh, send out a lot of tweets, uh, but those are really the, the tactical aspects of it. We also try to look every day at how can we make LilyPad better, both in the near future and the long-term future. We're looking at things like more video, thinking about the way that we use our voice. Are we, are we being conversational enough, for instance? So those are things that work into our strategy. That's also an important piece of LilyPad. There's a lot of day-to-day -day work, but we also need to keep it running in the right way for the future. And do you see a role for the wider team of employees in Lilly outside of corporate communications in terms of the way Lilly engages in these platforms? It's important for our employees to follow what we're saying on LilyPad and our other platforms because it's important for them to know what's being said uh, to lawmakers. It, they can get our perspective on a, on a variety of, of pieces of legislation. They know how we're interacting and they know that the type of people that we're interacting with. Uh, as an employee, that's very important to know because it makes you more, um, more, more educated about our business and the way that we're going about it. Brilliant. And um, what are the key things that you've learned in the two years that you've been uh, running and, and, uh, and operating with uh, LilyPad? I think I've learned that there's really no way to predict the next day. Uh, we, we have editorial calendars and plans for the week and for the following week, and a lot of times uh, those get implemented uh, flawlessly, but a lot of times you'll wake up and something will have happened in the news that directly impacts our business, and we need to react uh, on our various platforms, whether it be a blog or, or Twitter. Uh, or both. Uh, we, in some ways, uh, act much like a newsroom uh, on a much smaller scale because we need to uh, communicate about uh, the issues that are affecting our industry. Uh, so we have to be quick about it and, and we have to be transparent about it and conversational about it so that we're not only checking a box and communicating some information but doing it in a meaningful way. Brilliant. Well, congratulations on, on having established the platform this far. How do you see it going in the future? Well, hopefully it's going to continue to thrive uh, and, and that we're going to continue to have a, a lot of followers. Uh, to be honest, we feel like it's become a very important part of our communications business. Uh, social media is, is obviously growing. We need to grow with it. Uh, so we're very excited about the future of, of social media at Lilly, about the future of LilyPad, about the future of, of the campaign and all of our other platforms that will be growing in the future. Greg Kiesemann, thank you.
Thank you.